Hi, I'm Matthew Jones, and welcome to this video. On this tutorial, I will show you how to connect the IO Link Master from IFM to the Smart Connect IoT platform. You will see that is quite easy and will take no more than 5 minutes. So, let's start. Here it is the material that we will need for this use case. An IFM IO Link Master AL1350. An IFM Temperature Transmitter TA2115. The Ethernet cable. And finally the power adapter. So let's connect the cables, and power up the IO Link Master. Let's start with the Ethernet cable. Connect it to port X21 or IoT port on left top side of the IO Link Master. Then, connect the temperature sensor on port 1 or X01. And finally, connect the power adapter on the port X31. Now, just power up the IO Link Master and you are ready to configure it on the Smart Connect IoT platform. Now, use your browser, and go to smartconnect.com. Click on Smart Connect top right green button in order to access to the Smart Connect IoT platform. Here, you can find a brief description of the Smart Connect IoT platform features, screenshots, and some tutorials and use cases. Let's log in on my Smart Connect portal. On Portal, click Connected Center. Now on the Connected Center, go to Settings. Edge Servers. Here you can find your configured edge servers. An edge server has two main functions, one is security, to protect you industrial or home equipment from internet cyber attacks, once that will be the edge server doing internet facing instead of your industrial equipment. The second function, is to act as an interface and buffer broker between your equipment and the Smart Connect platform, as the edge supports the main industrial protocols. The edge server can be installed directly on the internet, behind an internet router, or on your company's DMZ network. For more information on the Edge server, please contact support at smartconnect.com. Now, let's click on Edit. Add-ons. Click on the Add Add-on button. Click in the IFM IO Link Master icon. Give a name to your IO Link Master. Write the IP address of your I.O. Link Master. Click Create. Now let's edit it. Now as you can see, the Edge server is scanning the I.O. Link Master for the first time, the scan should not take more than 1 or 2 minutes. If the scan takes longer, make sure that your Edge server has network connectivity to the I.O. Link Master, and has access to the Internet as well. Meanwhile, you can check here the supported IFM devices by the Smart Connect IoT platform. This list is continuously updated with new supported devices. And here it is. The scan result. Here you can find generic information about the IO Link Master. Process data from the IO Link Master. Information about the current status of the ports and sensors detected. Green means that the port is connected. Red means that the port is disconnected. Let's click on port 1. Here you have information from the sensor. Here you can set the temperature unit, which is Celsius by default on this sensor. Let's see the automatic generated digital twin. Let's rename it for a friendly name.
And that's it. You have your IFMIO Link Master and Temperature Sensor configured on the Smart Connect IoT platform in less than five minutes. Now, let's play a little bit with this. Since the IO Link Master is hot swappable, let's move the temperature sensor from port 1 to port 4 without disconnect the master. As you can verify, the sensor was automatically moved from port 1 to port 4, and the digital twin in his data is maintained from the previous port. Now that we have temperature readings from some hours, let's create a dashboard to display it. You will see that is quite easy and very fast to create dashboards on the Smart Connect IoT platform.
See? That was easy. And that's all for today. You can find the link for the IFM devices on video description. My name is Matthew Jones and thank you for watching. See you next time.